Hello and welcome to the TFJJ. We are starting a road trip here with Thomas and Alex in two Mercedes, very cool 90s Mercedes, uh, off to Brabus in Germany. So very, very excited, not too far from Dusseldorf. Um, I'll just show you the cars before we get on the tunnel, uh, ready to go to France and then Germany. So this is Alex's car. I'll put his Instagram below, Alex Penfold. We've got very, very cool sort of hammer, AMG hammer tribute based on the 320E coupe. Very, very cool. We've got the wide body on it. What's the color, Tommy, on this? Ruby red. Ruby red, there we go, beautiful. Nice AMG exhaust as well. And then the 500 SL with new Brabus three spoke. There we go, monoblock two wheels. I was struggling there. <laughs> got the hard top fitted, which is definitely necessary for this weather. This is an early model 500 SL, pre-facelift, um, but looks really, really good. So yeah, let's get on the train and get towards Germany. So we just arrived here at Brabus. Got some pretty cool cars in the car park. Loads and loads of G-Wagons. I guess some of them waiting to be converted to Brabus cars. And then many, many more interesting Mercedes and Brabus tuned Mercedes. Got this Pullman here, which is pretty crazy. Tints on that. But yeah, let's go in, see what we got inside. made it into Brabus where we are greeted by this insane crawler one of 15 completely bespoke off-road g-wagon full carbon what do you think Alex oh something special with the axles <laughs> the axle doesn't come out of that bit straight into the middle of the wheel technical There's something there and then so they can have higher ride height okay well it's good for going off road in sand dunes bucket seats with the carbon i think probably the steering wheel is pretty much the only bit that's untouched compared to the standard brabus g wagon g63 base of course loads of extra power drake's actually ordered one of these got six by six 900 horsepower XLP Adventure, based on the new shape G-Wagon. Of course, they never made a six by six version of the current shape G-Wagon, officially Mercedes. 300 SL Roadster, Brabus Classic. Of course, they got the Classic department as well, where they restore classic cars from Mercedes. Two, 280 SE Cabriolet 3.5, Pagoda, another six by six. And then this, I also want to show you because it's absolutely wild, the Brabus Rocket. Porsche 992 Turbo S, Range Rover, obviously not only doing Mercedes anymore. This is cool, the new 4x4 squared with the Brabus Take, cool color combo, 850 V12 Maybach. And also another Rocket Edition 
Turbo S. These are so wide, so much wider than the standard car. I actually quite like this. Very, very cool. It's got some serious road presence. more cars over here as well Brabus GLS 600 Maybach 800 G wagon plenty of those here some cars here sort of mid build showing the different stages of production on the turbo S's definitely black seems a popular color for the G this one's actually a 900, which I think requires a lot of engine modifications to get it up an extra 300 or so horsepower. This one is nuts. The Brabus 900 pickup, absolutely bonkers. Got those carbon fiber disc wheels, orange interior and orange details. And then yeah, some room in the back as well, should you require it. So here now at Brabus Classic, which is the restoration of classic cars side of Brabus, which they also do as well. That's really cool. Two ATSE, 3.5, love the gold color on it. And loads and loads of Pagoda SLs all lined up here, different colors like the red, got a nice, Ferrari as well, just over the other side. But yeah, quite cool to see the classic division to the business as well. So it turns out the car park for Brabus is absolutely nuts with all these cars waiting to be converted or previously converted into Brabus G-Wagons. We've got this 900 V12, absolutely nuts. I've previously seen in Monaco, Portugal registration, full interior, engine upgrade, everything on it. And yeah, lots and lots more cars here. Orange is quite cool.